running costs, sometimes known as operating costs. As you know, costs can be divided into startup costs and running costs. And now we're going to divide running costs into two further sections, fixed cost and variable cost. In the cost video, the scenario of setting up your own smoothie bar was shown and it identified these monthly running costs. Some of these costs, every time you pay for them, will be the same amount, a fixed cost. And for some of these costs, it will be different every time you pay for them, which will be a variable cost. This is all dependent on the level of output, and by this I mean how many smoothies you sell. So the question to ask yourself is, if the business sold more, would that running cost stay the same? If the answer is yes, the cost would stay the same, it would be identified as a fixed cost. If the answer is no, the cost would be different every time we paid for them, it would be a variable cost. So let's go back through the list of running costs. Rent and business rates. If the business sold more, would my rent and business rates stay the same? Yes, it wouldn't matter if I had 100 customers or 10 customers, I would still have to pay the same amount of rent and business rates, so it's a fixed cost. What about ingredients? If the business sold more, would that running cost stay the same? No, if I had more customers, I would have to buy more ingredients, and therefore it would be different and be a variable cost. Let's go quicker through the rest. So the utilities, electricity and gas. The more customers I have, the more electric and gas I would probably use for the blenders and, and equipment. So it would be a variable cost. Wages, we would try and get these as a fixed cost. Materials such as the straws and napkins. The more customers, the more I'd have to buy. A variable cost. Bin collection, fixed. Insurance, fixed. Health and safety and fire prevention, a fixed cost. The telephone and the internet. Let's put that down as fixed. If we're right in our business sense, it will, getting it as a fixed cost will help us budget better. A bank loan will be a fixed amount. And then we come to the car payment system and the, the EPOS and the marketing. These are very difficult to allocate, but essentially these will be fixed costs. So a fixed cost is a running cost that does not change depending on the level of output, and a variable cost is a running cost that does change depending on the level of output. It's essential to get a full understanding of the difference between these two costs, the fixed and variable costs, as a lot of the other business finance areas require a good, clear, correct identification of what a fixed and a variable cost is. So remember, ask yourself this question, if the business sold more, would the running costs stay the same?